Hey, what's going on, guys? Said so I'm gonna play some Double Dragon 2 for the NES. Now, you gotta pick Supreme Master, or else you won't be able to beat the game. So, let's just get straight into it. Who gives a shit about Bimmy and Jimmy's story? Now, me personally, I think this game is extremely easy, but if for some reason you think you might need some extra lives, you can actually start a two-player game where you can hurt each other and kill the second person, and that'll give you an extra life every single time that you kill them. So you'll start with, like, seven instead of four. I know it says three, but... Zero counts as one, so it's four. I'm actually not a huge fan of beat-em-ups either. This is one of the few beat-em-ups that I like to play by myself. If you're playing with a friend, then pretty much any beat-em-up can be a good time, but by yourself, beat-em-ups, I don't know, they really fucking suck. And I like this one just because the rising knee just wrecks everything, so it makes the game pretty zippy. And for anyone who doesn't know how to do it, you do the rising knee by pressing A and B as soon as you hit the ground. Like when you're when you're in this kneeling stance right there, if you press A and B, you'll do the rising knee. Oh, that's weird. So now we get the first boss. This dude's super simple, because you can just knee him right off the edge. Come on, BDSM man. Come on. There you go. Get the fuck out of here. So to reiterate, the rising knee just completely breaks this game, but you can also do the hurricane kick, which is done by jumping and then pressing A at the height of your jump. I've seen some people have issues pulling it off, but that's because I don't think that they're doing it right. They're trying to press A and B at the height of their jump instead of just pressing A. So I've seen a lot of people fail at it and not do it correctly but it's super easy to do. I think the rising knee is a lot harder than the hurricane kick. Just kick all these people off of here. Super easy. And I missed one, which is surprising because I usually never miss any of these guys. But I'm sitting here trying to talk instead of just playing the game, because I think, you know, doing commentary during a playthrough is much more entertaining than just watching somebody play the game. I want to hear you say something, you know what I mean? Ah, I fucked up the rising knee. Come on. Now we just need to hurricane kick these ninjas. If you mess up any of the hurricane kicks, you're gonna have a bad time with those dudes. wasn't working. Come on, a bobo in a wig. Fuck your ass up, cause you ain't shit. And in case you're ever about to go out that door, just pause for a second or two and the door will be closed when you unpause because it's on a global timer.
Mastering the rising knee is definitely the best way to beat this game, though. This game was really hard when I was a kid just because I didn't really know how to do the rising knee and I was trying to do the hurricane wrong virtually all my life until I grew up. Because you don't want to tap A and B, you just want to tap A and you'll get it every time. I've seen so many people mess it up. Okay, this dude's gonna beat my fucking ass. <laughs> this sucks. Usually I could just punch him off screen and he's absolutely no problem, but that didn't work this time. The Japanese version is also way easier than the US version, because I believe you can beat the game on any difficulty in the Japanese version, but on US, if you actually want to see the ending, you have to play on Supreme Master. And the Japanese version has continues, which the US version does too, but you have to use a code. So that's kind of stupid. I don't know why it got so many changes. I understand not being able to beat it unless you're on the hardest difficulty, because this game's really easy. But not being able to continue? Why? What was the point? Why take that out? Oh, so you can lengthen the gameplay, so you can play the same first fucking stages over and over again? Yeah. The NES loved to do that shit. Take an arcade game and give you limited continues without changing anything in the gameplay. I don't mean Double Dragon 2, because the arcade game is way different than this. I think the NES version is a much better game, because I think all of the arcade versions of Double Dragon are trash. And I'm sure that might get me some hate, but yeah, I think that they're, they're all unplayable garbage. The Genesis versions are unplayable garbage, too, because those are based off the arcade games. This is literally the only Double Dragon game that I like. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, shit. He, he almost could have thrown me. Because hopefully if I do this right, I shouldn't ever die. Because this game, again, is extremely easy until it forces you to do platforming. Because the platforming just doesn't work. And again, I'm getting my ass kicked because I'm sitting here trying to talk, but... That's the price you pay when you're trying to be slightly entertaining. Come on, die, you bastard. These guys have more health at this point than they do at anywhere else in the game. Everywhere else they die within one rising knee. Big, come, come here, you big Schwarzenegger looking mofo. And now we get the platforming bullshit. Which, if you're gonna game over in this game, this is probably where it is. Because the platforming doesn't work very well. but I luckily made it over that without the fire screwing me over. Come 
Come on, just die, asshole. I'm sure anybody watching this has probably died at this point quite a few times in their life, too. Which I'm sure my game ended here many, many times as a kid, but nowadays this isn't that bad. You just have to jump at the very edge of the last one to make it, or else you go straight in the pit every time. Because the developers were assholes. Just like that. No problem at all. But we get more platforming on the next level. Which I think the platforming here is way harder. Especially in the gear room. I still have problems with the gear room now and then. So now we get to fight the level 1 boss again. Which you could do the exact same trick of knocking him off to the left and he'll die immediately. But it's, it's just as easy to kill him like this, so I'm not even going to mess with it. And I hate this part. I die here way too often. Okay. So good so far. I'm going to wait for this thing. Alright, good stuff. So I shouldn't ever die anywhere else. Unless the Shadow Ninja wants to be a dick. Because I'm sure people have troubles with him too, but... Our Shadow Warrior, I think is his name. Whatever, who cares, the final boss. I remember the first time I fought him, I game over on him with full lives. But... Nowadays, he's really easy. Come on, I couldn't grab it. Come here, asshole. Ugh. Ugh. Bastard. So again, those guys die in one rising knee, because they never have more health than they did on that other stage, which is odd. But everything else here takes forever to kill. Especially these guys. Alright, fight Arnold Schwarzenegger again. The Schwarzenegger and the uh, Bobos and Wigs can be complete douchebags in this game too, because they can get you in an infinite combo where it's really hard to get out of it. But now that there's no more platforming, this game is freaking cake. And I say that while I'm missing everything, but that's just how Double Dragon 2 goes sometimes. Getting pretty close to the end, too, so this game's pretty short. <laughs> I know in two-player you have to fight a bunch more enemies than you do by yourself. Fuck you. Fuck all of you bastards. Alright, let's go fight a bunch of Abobos and Schwarzeneggers. And that, nope, one more. Okay. 
Now again, we get to fight some ninjas, and the best strat for this is, again, to just jump our hurricane kick. If you miss your hurricane kick, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, next set. And no fucking problem. Now we get to fight a purple dude. Well, that was easy. So let's go rescue Marion who I don't believe was in the arcade version. I think she actually got shot, like, right at the beginning of it. It's impossible. It can't be her. Ma? Marion? Final confrontation? Question mark? Hey, what's up, baby? How you doing, girl? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, look at that ass. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Alright, now here's the Shadow Warrior, which, again, I'm sure he gave lots of you people trouble, but he is easy as shit nowadays. So I'll show two different strats for killing him. One strat with uh, Rising Knee and one where if you suck at the Rising Knee, you can still beat him. <clears throat> So here's the strat if you suck at the rising knee. Just hold up and then down and press the punch button every now and again and he'll almost never hit you. <laughs> this dude is a joke. <laughs> like it it's pretty sad, quite honestly. Let's try to do the other strat. Which he's invisible, so I can't see him. And he wasn't even Okay. And that's not going to work. What you want to do is jump away from him and then rising knee towards him, which he keeps turning invisible, so it's not working. And I fucked up the knee anyway. There we go. I just definitely don't recommend jumping towards him, because he'll do one of his extremely devastating attacks, which takes at least half of your health bar. So jumping away and then rising knee towards him, he's a freaking joke. But there's Double Dragon 2, Deathless, so that was pretty sweet. I honestly didn't expect that. Uh, excuse me, because again, I assumed I was at least going to die once on the... Uh, platforming sections, because those really suck. I guess he's the mysterious warrior. I thought he was the shadow warrior, but what the hell do I know? I haven't played this in a long time, and I'm surprised it came back so naturally. baby comes back to life which definitely doesn't happen in the arcade version because she gets shot and she's fucking dead I don't think she's in the third game though at all I could be wrong with that I honestly don't know I'm not super uh, I don't know a lot of the stuff about the arcade versions because I've never played them besides a couple times just on MAME and stuff, and I thought that they completely sucked. Um, I've played the third game, the Rosetta Stone, with Bimmy and Jimmy, but that game really sucks too. And the first one, though I'm sure it's a classic to people with nostalgia glasses who played it when they were kids, that game fucking blows too. And I'm sure I'll get a little bit of hate out of that, but you know what? Everybody has personal preferences. Technos. Hell yeah. Crashing the boys, man. That's my jam right there. The end. Alright, well, that was Double Dragon 2. I hope you enjoyed, and, uh...
Thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy.